Welcome back to the Basement Gun Shop. Today is November 11th, Veterans Day. And what better way to spend Veterans Day than out shooting a round of sporting clays with my good friend. Um, a week or two ago, a friend of mine sent me an email saying, hey, I got an opportunity to go shoot some sporting clays. Would you like to attend? Uh, this is one of those vendor type uh, promotions they come they give you two two three hour sales pitch and then they pay for you to go out and shoot around a sporting clays so before I go any further I want to throw a monster thank you out to my good friend Greg Tossi we had a wicked good time today uh, except for the lady we were shooting with who had two negligent discharges <clears throat> um, which was uh, more than a little scary but she settled down, she calmed down, and uh, she actually, she shot pretty decent. Um, it was just a wicked, awesomely good day. And there's going to be a couple videos coming up here. Um, <clears throat> both my buddy Greg and myself shooting two different stages. Now, one thing I want to call your attention to, if, you know, you see me shooting rifle after rifle after rifle um, haven't really done any pistol shooting videos yet um, they've all been pretty much you know like the 80 percent AR I built the Bushmaster uh, the M&P 10 the M1A you know shooting rifles there's a reason I don't do videos on me shooting shotguns and that's basically because I can't hit the broadside of a barn <laughs> with the shotgun um, I just it was not something that I ever got really good at or trained at um, and that's probably half the reason right there so the first two videos are Greg and I shooting uh, a stage at Lehigh Valley Sporting Clays in Copley Pennsylvania if you're ever in the area I highly recommend that you visit Lehigh Valley Sporting Clays and shoot around. Uh, they do have discounts for veterans, um, for active duty, for EMS, um, fire, you know, all that stuff. Um, they're obviously a firearms oriented business, so they're very patriotic. Um, and their facilities are top notch. They really are. <clears throat> so, the first two little snippets of video are Greg and I shooting a stage over a, a quarry, basically a strip pit from a quarry that flooded and filled up with water over the years. Now the land isn't suitable for anything but shooting sporting clays. Uh, so we got one bird coming real quick from the right and then one bird coming out from the left on a much more lazy angle. Um, if you don't know anything about sporting clays, it's basically clay pigeons, you know, standard stuff, but it's uh, thrown from a station that uh, is made to resemble small game hunting, like a pheasant coming up or a grouse coming up or a squirrel or a rabbit or something to that effect. Um, and it's a lot of fun. Um, I have my laptop sitting here on the screen so I can see the videos, so I can kind of comment on each one as they go um, <laughs> so that's the first two videos and let's look at them real quick Whoa. I'm shooting Whoa. Give me a double. Pull. I got one of them. So that was, I believe, station number four. Yeah, that was station number four. Um, the next one, the next two little snippets of video is station number 13 and it entails a rabbit where they actually put the pigeon thrower on its side 
and the clay pigeon rolls across the ground like a rabbit and then uh, it's basically a rabbit and a pheasant the rabbit comes from the left and there's a blocker on the shooting box so you can't really see it until it's right there in front of you and then a pheasant coming out boom, from the right hand side flying over where the rabbit went. Um, <clears throat> Greg sent me a text while I was driving home saying if you don't post any of my misses I won't post any of yours. <laughs> Which my reply was dude go right ahead and post mine I'm all good with that. I never professed to be a shotgun master and God knows today proved it. Um, If you do the math, there were 17 stations on the course today. Uh, 16 of the 17 stations were three report pairs, and one station was two report pairs. And what a report pair is, again, for those of you that don't know, uh, for those of you that do, I apologize for just rambling on but there are some people who don't know have never shot sporting clays uh, in point of fact this is only the second time in my life I've ever shot around a sporting clays so there were 16 stations of three report pairs that's six birds for a total score of six on on those first 16 stations uh, the 17th station was two report pairs or a total score of four my score for the day was 56 um, I, I haven't actually done the math to see what the total perfect score could have been. Um, I'm not upset about shooting a 56. I was just happy to be out there with a good friend and some other people, two other people, uh, Lisa who worked for one of the vendors that was sponsoring the event and uh, John, one of the attendees of the event, who is an IT guy at Wilkes College up in Wilkesbury, and uh, we just had a great day. It, it was awesome. Um, the instructor in me got to come out because Lisa had really never shot before. Um, she did have two negligent discharges, which, you know, I was, but fortunately, the gun was pointed in the right direction. So there was no property damage and no personal damage done. <clears throat> but uh, she settled down because she was very nervous at the beginning of the day. Uh, so, but she did settle down and she actually started hitting. At one point in time, I think she had three stations where she had four out of six total birds. And that's absolutely respectable in my book. So these next two videos are me and Greg missing six targets out of six targets. Uh, it's a rabbit and a pheasant station, so let's check out those videos right now. get hung up. Yeah. That's when you should have shot it. Yeah. <laughs> oh. That was a miss. Turn back. Oh. Totally as a man. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> so that's what it's like to miss at Sporting Clays. Um, if you caught that little comment in there about me feeling totally inadequate as a man, um, Lisa was just great. <clears throat> and a point of fact, 
on her first pair at that station, she tagged a rabbit, which is the one rolling across the ground coming from the left. She tagged a rabbit. Nobody, not myself, not Greg, not John, nobody hit the rabbit on that station except for Lisa on her first shot, which was, uh, which was wicked cool. Uh, the, uh, the, the sarcasm and the humor that ensued because she was the only one that got a rabbit was just fantastic. So, you know what? Chicks with guns, pardon me for making such a sexist remark, but chicks with guns are just awesome. She was gonna quit after the second stage but we gently convinced her to keep going on and then she started breaking birds and from then on she was all about it. Well, now you know what it's like when my compressor kicks on here in the basement gun shop. So, we gently convinced her to keep going. And she did have a bit of an incentive because there was another woman there with one of the sponsors uh, that she's friends with who was saying, oh, I got to break at least one because so-and-so is probably out there kicking butt. So she went on, she broke her first one, and after she got that first pigeon, she was all about breaking birds. Absolutely all about breaking birds. And it was it was great. From an instructor standpoint, it's one of the things I love about being an instructor. Watching the light come on in someone's eyes. And being able to share my love of the shooting sports with someone else. Someone who's never done it before. Or someone who thinks they can't do it. She thought she couldn't do it. She didn't say that overtly. But I would venture a guess as to say that she thought she couldn't do it. And then when she broke that first one, it was all done. So the only thing I have left to say is, once again, Greg, thank you for a day of sporting clays. It's a great way to spend a vacation day from the real job to go out and play with a good friend and good people. So, that's it for the basement gun shop. I hope you enjoyed the video on me missing, me missing six clay pigeons out of six clay pigeons because I can't hit the broadside of a barn with a shotgun. Uh, so, if you have any comments, please, as always, I encourage you, leave them below in the comments section. If you have ideas about a future basement gun shop video, woohoo, right down there in the comments section. And until next time, stay safe and keep shooting.